Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to Tai Chi with Justin. I'm your host, Justin Flinner, and I'm ready to go today. So we're on day 17. Can you believe it? Day 17 of the coronavirus lockdown. Uh, yesterday, someone had mentioned in the comments, they said, day 16 already? I said, yes, day 16 today. We're in day 17. I hope you're all faring well, staying at home, being safe, being healthy. Uh, today, I have a new lesson for you connected to yesterday's, which was based in silk reeling exercises and Tai Chi. So I hope you're all getting some benefit out of this. If you are, please remember to like this page, subscribe to it so that you get constant updates to know exactly what it is that we're delivering to you absolutely for free. There's no charge for any of this. This is all for all of you. So each and every one of you, I hope that you can uh, make sure that you continue to practice every single day that you continue to work hard, and uh, this is uh, a way that we can stay healthy during these challenging times, okay? Now, I'm going to begin first uh, by reading from the usual Tao Te Ching, and then also I want to remind you that there's a bonus lesson after this, and today's bonus lesson being that the weather has cooled off a little bit today, uh, we're going to do a little bit of relaxation and flexibility. So. The flexibility exercises should warm you up a little bit, get you ready for the day, wherever it is that, uh, uh, well, if you have to go to the grocery store, hopefully you don't have to. Hi, good morning. Hi. Did you just tag stuff? Did you sleep well? Okay, go have a seat. Relax. All right, so today's reading from the Tao Te Ching is number 13. Success is as dangerous as failure. Hope is as hollow as fear. What does it mean that success is as dangerous as failure? Whether you go up the ladder or down it, your position is shaky. When you stand with your two feet on the ground, you will always keep your balance. What does it mean that hope is as hollow as fear? Hope and fear are both phantoms that arise from thinking of the self. When we don't see the self as self, what do we have to fear? See the world as yourself. Have faith in the way things are. Love the world as yourself. Then you can care for all things. Well, I think that's relevant to what we're dealing with today uh, in the sense of we need to learn to care for ourselves. The last line is love the world as yourself. Then you can care for all things. So we shouldn't look at the world any differently than it is right now. We should just learn to find a way to, number one, protect the people outside, protect ourselves here in our own homes, and model what it is that we're doing after those who have done a very good job. For example, South Korea has done an excellent job. We should model our actions based off of theirs, care for the people around us so that we can care for ourselves. Okay? So, let's care for ourselves now. Okay. We'll do a warm-up, we'll do some basic exercises. I'm gonna give you some new silk reeling exercises in addition to the silk reeling form that I created. So, loosen your wrists. And, my music is not on. Let me turn on, keep rolling your wrists. And loosen your ankles. Push out. You can hear my children, right? <laughs> Raise up to the ceiling. Give me a twist to the one side. One, two, three, four, five. Switch. One, two, three, four, five. Again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, and five. Good. Circle your arms forward. Good. And reverse. Good. Now twist a little bit. Let's get into the mid back. Two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Give me a bigger twist. Reach behind you. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, 
two, three, one, two, three. Reach your arm up, lean over to the side. Push up, lean over to the side. Push out, round your back. Push out. Push out. Okay, roll your shoulders. And let me uh, first make a quick announcement before we start on with a few more exercises. This Saturday, we are going to be doing an event together with Things to Do DC. So if you've ever looked for something to do, like you've Googled things to do in whatever location. Well, in DC, there is a things to do DC website, and we are gonna be doing an online virtual Tai Chi session. So I know you get Tai Chi from here on a regular basis, and if you subscribe to this channel, then you will know that I'm here every single morning at 8 a.m. giving you a lesson absolutely for free. However, there are other businesses out there that are trying to find a way to stay alive, to thrive. And I'm offering my services as a way to help them. They're helping me as well, because I'm also trying to run a business. So we're all working together to try to stay alive. So if you have a little bit of time on Saturday morning, please, sign up on the things to do dc website look for the tai chi session that's going to be taught by me saturday morning this saturday what would that be april something the first saturday in april look for it on saturday morning please join us uh, right now the cost everything all the details are listed there so go to things to dc.com and find the virtual tai chi session uh, taught by me justin Flinner. okay let's move on let's come to our legs Right leg up, hands on your waist. Let's do a little bit more warm up for your thigh. So raise that leg up, push out your heel, hold it there for one, two, three, four, five. Keep going, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and relax. Give me a stretch forward, touch the bench or chair, whatever it is that you have your leg up on. Come up, switch, hands on your waist, raise that leg up, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, down, stretch forward, and lift up, good, let's do one more. Find something to support yourself with if you need it. And reach up behind, grab your foot. Now, I always have individuals that I'm teaching that have a difficult time reaching down to grab their foot. If you have a pant leg, grab your pant leg, pull it up. That's just as fine, no problem. If you can get to your ankle, even better. Pull it in. And when you do this one, I like to tell people, especially if they're okay doing this position, to keep your knees close together and your body straight. If you want more of a challenge in this one for balance, use both hands to pull your foot up. Then, let's switch to the other side. First one, leg up. Remember, if you can't, just grab your pant leg. Pull it up. If you can get to your ankle, good. Bring the knees close together, body tall, pull the foot in. Good. Each of our muscles work in a particular way. They're attached in a particular way. So if we put our muscles into a position that is not necessarily the best way to utilize it, or if you stretch it, then we don't get the full effect. So I may be picky in the position, but that is because I want you to get full benefit from each of these exercises. So the first one we're going to do now is the immune strengthening Qigong exercise we've done every single day keep you guys healthy uh, for as much as much as possible. So let's get the bench out of the way. I think my bench probably feels like I've been neglecting it. I haven't used it too much recently. So, first one, feet shoulder width apart. Hands, palms up, 
check your posture first. Head tall, chin in, body straight, palms up. Three exercises, three sounds, three organ systems. One. Exhale. Two. Three. First organ system is the kidneys. Reach down. One. Breathing in. Wrap around. Lift and hold. Exhale. Tray. Tray. Second, lifting up, spleen and stomach, the sound is pull. Pull. Both sides. Pull. Full extension. side. Good. Hands to the abdomen. Left for men, right for women, other hand on top. Lean forward. Inhale. <clears throat> One. Exhale. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, and lift up, let's close, one, two, Three. Good. Bring your hands to your abdomen, same position as the previous exercise. And we're going to be breathing into the belly. As you inhale, hands push outward. Exhale, relax in. You may close your eyes. And for the next 20 seconds, breathe even. Relax your body as much as possible. Begin. You are comfortable doing all of these Qigong exercises that we've just performed. We've been doing them every day and I've been teaching them for a while. If you're comfortable doing them, you can close your eyes now at this point and envision the Qi moving through this particular region of the body. For example, I mentioned on the inside of the leg for the kidneys. Well, as your arms raise up, imagine you're pulling the Qi through your leg, up, around your back and up the front. So that's for the first exercise. Close the eyes, focus inward, because qigong is a way to help move your qi with intention. And in order to do that, it helps to remove one of your senses, sight, and focus inwards to allow your body to see exactly what is happening, and you gain more sensation that way, which means, ultimately, you have more benefit. So, let's move on now to some new uh, silk reeling exercises before we start the rest of the, uh, the form. 
Yesterday, we worked on this one. Those of you who were with me yesterday, you were recall, we were doing this movement, one, two, on both sides. So let's do a very quick review of that one. Your left foot open out to the side. Your right foot, you can start at 90 degrees, but I want you to turn that foot in slightly. From there, we're gonna use right arm going forward, one, up, turn and back down forward up and back down forward up back like this and then when this one comes forward this one pulls in back forward back separate time good let's do the other side return left foot is now pointing forward right foot now to the side turn this foot in slightly left arm going forward one two three four one Two. Bring the right hand in play. One, two. One, two. One, <clears throat> two. One, two. One more time. One, two. Good job. Now, I always mention that the waist is very important when you're practicing Tai Chi, especially when you're doing silk reeling exercises. So we're going to do a quick waist, waist loosening exercise before we do an additional silk reeling exercise. Palms up and arms next to you. First one, we're going to turn our waist and we're going to send our arm forward almost as if I like to think that there's water, like maybe after you wash your hands or after you've taken a shower, you still have a little water on your hand and you wanted to flick it off your hand and onto the wall. Flick this way. So turn your waist and then out. Pull in and out. One and out. One and out. Now you notice my waist is what is driving this movement. One, two, one, two. If I do the other side, same thing. One, two, one, two. Now you don't have to throw your arm out there too hard. Take your time, make it slow until you get more comfortable and your arm and your shoulder and your waist become loose enough to generate the power that comes out through your hand and your fingers. I'm going one side, I'm going other side. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one. One more and two. Good. Remember, this is a waist loosening exercise not an arm loosening exercise. Your arm should already be loose. The only thing we're doing is turning your waist, boom, boom, using your legs to drive the movement, two, and turning your waist a little bit quick, boom, two, one, two, one, two. Good, let's try it again, palms up. 10 on each side, here, one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, good job. Shake your arms out a little bit. Next one. Right hand push forward, left hand lift 
We're going to pull our arms back like we're guiding someone over there. Pull up and back, one, then down, forward, twist and lift. One, 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 down, forward, twist. Good. Now, take a couple steps this direction because we're going to do this same movement going forward as we walk. From here, one, two, three. Step. In. Step. In. Step. And in. Good. Come back. Let's do it again. Same side. Palms up. Step. One. Back. Step in. Two. Three. If you have room for one more, do one more. And four. And stop. Good. One more time. Hands up. One. Two. Three. Four. Good. So you notice I'm staying the same level as I go across. I'm not going down, up, down, up. Nope. Same level from start. One, two, one, two. This direction. Let's go this way now. Review the arms first. Hands on this side. One, two, turn back. One, two, one, two, one, two. Now let's just try to step from here. One, two, one, two, one, two. I think you figured it out. Let's move back. Let's try the whole distance. From here, Step, one, two, one, two, one, two, good, again, hands up, one, two, one, Two, one more, one, two, last time, one, two, one, two, one, two, good. So this action is going to be a part of the form that comes after what we learned yesterday. So let's come back to the form. Starting with our feet together. This is the silk reeling form. Left foot going out. One. Arms up. One. Two. Repeat. One. Two. One. And two, a total of three times. Now, the first part is, if you remember yesterday when we were doing the movements, we were doing this one. One, two. We did a quick review earlier. Two, one, two. This idea. 
So as we begin that movement, we come to the end of the first three up and down. Left arm raise, one, begin, one, two, three, one more if you have space, and four. Good. The challenge with this space is that the form I'm teaching you right now is longer than this space. So I just have to make do with what I have. So what I'm going to do is instead of doing it four times, I'm going to cut it in half and only do it two times. And I'm going to start a little bit over here. So two times with that previous movement we just practiced. Still do the same opening, three actions. Together, here we go. Step out. One. Two, three, and up. Good. Next action, left hand. One, step in, two, step in. Now, Next movement, take your left foot and step not just to the side, but a little bit behind you with your toe up. And we're going to go back. One. And pull your foot in. Then step on the opposite diagonal. Step two, same movement. In and lift. Okay, let's try it again from this side. So that movement, if I'm moving on a straight line here, I know I'm a little bit diagonal here, so I'm trying not to get you to be confused. But if I go this direction and I finish that opening movement, one, two, my next step is gonna be not to the side, but a little bit behind me. Here, I come back, and then my follow, following step is gonna be on, it's gonna go back to uh, the same position I was before. So on another diagonal, I'm back on my line. Okay, let's do it again. Here we go. As a matter of fact, I will do it sideways so you can see. One. Two. Three. Then left arm, one, only two times, two, now corner step, one, back, lift up, corner step, two, and lift up. Good. So you notice the lift is both hands coming up. How high am I coming? No higher than my chin, no higher than my face. Of course, if I'm fighting you, I don't want to have my hands in front of my face because I'll never see you. All right. So keep your hands down a little bit so that you can see, but also you can uh, use your hands properly. When the hands come a little too high, that means they're coming away from your center of gravity, which means you become a little disconnected and more at risk. So drop the arms down. We also don't want them to be coming too close to you. Too low, so out. Let's try again from the beginning. Step. Up. Down. Two. Down. And 
lift. Good job. Final time. Here we go. Begin. Up. Down. Two. Three. Left arm. One. In. Two. Back corner step. Down. And in. Step. Down. And in. Nice job. Okay, we're gonna stop there. There's a few more movements that come after that, but we're gonna learn, we're gonna learn those ones tomorrow, and then put these all together. Okay. So this is part two of the silk reeling lesson for morning tai chi with Justin. I thank you all for tuning in. Don't forget, number one, we have a bonus lesson right after this, and we're gonna do some flexibility exercises. Uh, open up some of the joints of the lower body, keep you warm for the rest of today because it's a little bit chilly uh, outside compared to the last few days. And number two, don't forget this Saturday we will have an event online, virtual Tai Chi event. Just go to things to do dc.com. So look for things to do in DC and you'll find the website and then you just search for Tai Chi this Saturday. Uh, the start time should be around 9 45 to 10. Uh, and there will actually be a QA at the end. You'll get to ask me questions throughout. Uh, I'll be able to answer some questions about your Tai Chi practice. I'd be happy to do so. You can also send your questions to me here. Uh, and remember, two businesses working together trying to thrive during this time where we have to keep our doors closed. So please support us. Please work with us. And we hope to see you not only every morning at 8 a.m., but also this Saturday for our virtual Tai Chi session in the morning. Okay? Take care. I'll see you in five minutes for your bonus lesson. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, stay healthy, stay happy, and stay home. <laughs>